But yeah, welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. It's a game I've been looking forward to for so, so long. I uh, I never played it in Early Access. I avoided it completely because I wanted to do it, you know, properly. I've already adjusted the options. I think it's all set up, right? Everything should be high, and then I've turned off motion blur because, my god, I cannot stand... I cannot stand motion blur. <laughs> Uh, I mean, sure, survival. We'll just get straight into the campaign. I assume this is a campaign. I will press the Annie button. This is the farthest that I could take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The it's meteor be weird storm. Having a voiced protagonist. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Goodbye, gravelly voiced man. No idea what's happening. I hope I'm not supposed to be controlling this. <laughs> Didn't this game come out like two years ago? Early access was two years ago. But I think you can only play the first couple of hours of the story. Now it's released. As of midnight my time last night. We've actually crashed on land. Already a different, different way of doing things. That's a good sign when that shows up before anything else. Well, at least we have warmth for the time being. Welcome to 4546B. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Oh. Well. <laughs> that was probably inevitable. <laughs> okay, lots of uh, meteors. I wonder if I just stay here, will meteors just hit me? Or am I okay for now? Um, I may want to get into some shelter. Um, yeah, may maybe we want to get into some shelter first. Oh, stuff has dropped. Flare, water bottle. That's going to be important, I think. Flares and water bottles. Blueprint synthesized. Who new voice for the the PDA as well? Uh, press tab to open the PDA. Welcome to adventure mode. What? Uh, you have arrived in. Okay, I'll I'll read this in a second once I can stop. You know, talking over this explosion that's happening in the background. Let me just pick up whatever water I can find and some flares. I don't know if I'll need flares. And I assume I can come back here at some point, maybe. Oh, it's going to be nice and chilled, too. Uh, yeah, some, I don't know why I have a flare out, I'll be honest. Can I switch away? I can. Good. Okay, let's let's go somewhere. Let's let's run away. You missed two? Oh my god. Uh, oh, the orange bricks in the snow. That makes sense. Nutrient blocks. Uh, I am blind, so forgive me. Oh, I'm I'm freezing up a little bit. One second, is this fire gonna help? I don't know if the fire is gonna help. Oh, the fire is helping. Oh, that's gonna be bad. That's a new mechanic. There's a. I'll come back for this in a second once I get set up. That should be enough for now. I have some water, alien flowers. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Yeah, sure. Water and drop pod. It is a subnautica game. The plant heats you up. Oh, do you? Oh, it's like a little sun lamp. That's very pretty. I like it. You're my friend now. Okay, so not not too bad. My question has been ignored. Oh, is this DLC or is it a full game release? It is a full game release. It was um. <laughs> I know how you feel, names. <laughs> Uh, this is a full release. I thought it was an expansion or a DLC. I know I'm old when I call things expansions. Oh, this is, must be so cold. I really wouldn't want to swim in this. I've swum in extremely cold water. I've swum in extremely cold water before because I live in Ireland and I have been swimming in, you know, early spring, end of winter. So I, I, ha I know what it feels like, but this seems a, a step above, <laughs> putting it mildly. Yeah, this... I, I thought this was maybe originally planned to be... Ooh, penguins. I thought this might have been originally planned to be a DLC. I really did. I thought it was like... You know, 
a, a going to be an expansion or like a standalone expansion. Think like Far Cry Blood Dragon, like a mini thing. But then I think eventually it just got upgraded to standalone big game. Pick up Pengling. I love them. Hello. Can I... Oh, is this going to kill him? Because <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I think he's amazing. And I love him. Oh! You're my best friend. And I love you. Ah! I'm sorry. Are you going to punch me in the face? Oh, their mouths are on the top. That's less endearing. But fair enough. <laughs> you can make a robot version eventually. <laughs> Oh, it's very pretty. And I'm, I'm glad I beefed up my computer rig uh, before playing this, because this is very, very pretty. I mean, look at this. It's lovely. Oh, and this, it switches to O2 when you go underwater. Down in the... Oh, I'm probably covering up the, the thing as well, aren't I? Hang on, let me move my camera. Uh, let me just get this going. Let me move the camera like this over here. And then switch over. Look at that. I have a camera now. In a, in a right place, so it's not it shouldn't be covering up anything now. Cool. Okay, I mean, a pod is already set up. I don't know what the plot of this game is. I might read it once I get into this pod. I don't know how much of the plot I'll read. The plot in the last game was very, very good. So probably a bit. Uh, where is the door? Right there. Oxygen. Cool. Hopefully this has oxygen. Found the drop pod. Yep, I did. Okay. Well, we have logs. I want to my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Alteron 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, Devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So has this... Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some... I'm going to be interrupted for a bit here, I think. Search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Will said. So is this set long enough... At... I think it's the same planet, but is it set... I assume in a different region of the planet, but also have they colonized it a little bit? They seem to have set up research bases, a bit like Antarctica. So it's not completely deserted. Although, I, being Subnautica, I'm, I imagine everything has gone completely wrong. Hello, Calamaz. Thanks for joining chat. Uh, right. Tab. Tab, please. Let me build something. Uh, gather tools and resources. Hmm? I know, she has been for a while. I brought them in from the garden earlier and they just went over and sat on that jumper over there. I think they're going to sleep. Impossible to miss. Well, we'll see. I guess we'll just have to wander around and make some tools first. Oh, it's been a while since I played Subnautica. I did play a lot of it. Oh, I mean, they say impossible to miss. Where am I and what am I looking at? <laughs> okay, let's let's go. Get the kelp orbs. Kelp orbs. Oh, break limestone. I'll do that first, I guess. Should I'm breaking this with this. my fist, apparently. <laughs> um... The fruits? Oh, is it these things? Or is it these things? I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> what are you? Okay, let me let me see what I need to make some basic tools. I guess that would be a good place to start, right? Minerals galore, another one. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. Okay. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Okay, so first thing we need is a scanner. 
a, a knife and maybe a flashlight, but then uh, O2 tanks, stuff like that. We need some basic equipment, I think, first of all. So, we need some silicon rubber. To make that, we need creepvine seed clusters. So we need a knife, basically. And then for a battery, we need copper and ribbon plant. Okay, not, not too bad. So we just need copper, titanium, and creepvine seed clusters. That should not be too bad. So we'll just get on with it. Uh, I, yeah, we just need to find lots of stuff. Catch bladderfish, sure. I always feel bad about this, to be honest. If I can even catch him. There we go. New creature discovered. You know what? I don't need him for now. We'll we'll leave him go for now. Ooh, a sea glide fragment. I need that. I need a scanner for that. I assume. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, these aren't outcrops. Everything kind of looks like how the outcrops used to use. I will say that. How dare you let him go? I don't know. I mean, I don't need him. Oh, also, I'm about to drown. Uh, please swim up, please. Oh, we have very little oxygen. We only have like 20, 30 seconds. 45. Same thing. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. We're just gonna find our way around first. I don't know. I've been really looking forward to this game, but it has been a while since I played Subnautica. And I played a lot of Subnautica. I think I played... Well, I played three rounds of Subnautica. Three kind of, you know... Oh, I... oh we're right here, and it's... It looks a bit warmer, actually. Well, I think it's snowing, but, you know... Everything has a bit of a, a warm tone to it. We are going down in temperature, never mind. Hello. But yeah, I played probably about 60 hours of Subnautica is what I'm getting at. The first one. But it's been long enough. It's been two years, I think, since I played it. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. You missed the battery plant in that cave? Oh, God. <laughs> Fine. I am going to miss stuff as well, especially because I'm streaming, so get prepared for that. But you know what? Overall, I think this is going to be a fairly casual playthrough. I will probably finish it. Like, I can't I can't imagine that I wouldn't find the kelp forest. I don't know where a kelp forest is. What are you? You're nothing. I recognize you from the first game. There we go. Okay, more titanium. Okay for a first... You know, for a first pass, I think. We will we will find some good stuff. This is like Minecraft bamboo all over again. <laughs> uh, early game night is not very epic. Oh, no. Okay, so we have four titanium. That's already okay. I think we need a bit more copper. We can already make a waterproof locker, which is kind of useless, but whatever. An air bladder. I don't think I ever used an air bladder before. Or in the last one. First thing should probably be a scanner. So we need a couple more. Oh, we need ribbon plants. Okay, I I will keep an eye out for them. And then oh, it... see the thing is, is I wish you could like pin up like almost like a quest marker to the side of your screen, like recipes, so that you could keep it in mind a little bit. Water is bladderfish. Then I can also make bladderfish, and then I can cure bladderfish. Fine, whatever. I will probably need to do that because I think I'm out of food. Although I can go back to that landing area and get some food as well. Okay, I, I mean, I have to go out at night, right? I mean, it might be a bit dangerous, but I do need to go out here and collect some stuff, so it's not really up to me. Oh, it's very pretty. It might be better looking than the last game, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I guess it has been like two years, and probably more of a budget. These are ribbon plants, right? Yes, I did miss Ribbon them before. plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okay, so that's the battery plant. Let me get one of these, and then we'll swim up to the surface. Oxygen. Oh god, we... So far, we absolutely need to, you know, get the water tank, cause, or the oxygen tank. Because having only 45 seconds is a nightmare. It looks the same. I think it looks better, but it, again, it has been a while. I know Subnautica was kind of, uh... I don't think people realised how big of a hit Subnautica was going to be. Subnautica... I remember it was also in early access for like four years or something like that. But then it came out and was like... Basically a sensation for a little while. Okay, I can make a battery. Battery and... Okay, I can make a scanner. That's important. 
Next should probably be the oxygen All tank. Right. I have a scanner. Yes, you do. Which is just fiber mesh. What's fiber? Fiber mesh is creep vine samples. For creep vine, I need a knife, so I need a knife next. Fine. Which means I need creep vine seed clusters. Okay, we need to find some creep vines. I don't know where the creep vines are. I don't even really know which direction I'm going, but whatever. I'm telling you it's the kelp. Yes, but I need... I don't... I've never played this game. I need to go find the kelp. I feel like this is a game that could get very, very aggressive with the back seating, by the way. For the first little while, you should just scan everything, right? Definitely. Why did the PDA voice change? Oxygen. I don't know, they probably just wanted a change. I imagine it's to reflect, like, I think this is meant to be set. I, d I don't know for sure, but I remember reading somewhere that this is meant to be set maybe a few years after the first one. And so technology has probably changed. You know how they, like, change the voice of, like, the Google Assistant and stuff like that every so often. I imagine it's the same thing. Shelf coral. Now, where was that? It's dark, so I can't quite remember. But where was that sea glide fragment thing? Because that's going to be useful, too. More copper, a coral bridge. You know, this is how Subnautica goes. The first few days are going to be a lot of scanning, a lot of gathering resources. <laughs> but, you know, it'll pick up. Oxygen. Yes, I know oxygen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, it's uh, The water effects are very cool with the rain. I like the splashing. Uh, it was near the pod. It was near the pod, but I can't quite remember where. <laughs> Everything has been near the pod so far. Uh, I don't know. I'll see it in the light, regardless of, you know, whether I get lost. I'm just happy that there's so much copper around, it seems. <laughs> I, don't know. I hope everyone's having a nice day today. I was surprised by this launch. I didn't... Number one, I didn't quite realise it was coming out so soon. I thought it would be another year or two. But also, I thought... They had a countdown on their website. Which was wrong. <laughs> they had a countdown on their website saying, Game releasing in, you know, one day in, you know, 25 hours from now. And I looked at that and went, Oh, so it's releasing at 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, and then I woke up to a tweet that was... Oh, it's out now, actually. We released it at midnight, so it's been out for, like, five hours. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> well, that makes me look like a fool. So it snuck up on me. A violet bow. From what I remember, the flowers are almost completely useless. I can remember that. Oh, creep vines! We're here! Okay, creep vines. Fantastic. Uh, Oxygen. I need to go up, please. Why am I swimming so slowly? It's because I haven't gotten any of the upgrades. It's a... I don't know. It's a bit like um, highway blindness, or whatever that's called. Where, um... Oh, is that a, a stalker? Oh, what are you? A sea monkey? Hello. Oh, don't eat me, by the way. Oh, no! What the Some fuck? Of the wildlife down here is very... Excuse grabby. me. Give that back. Now. No, I haven't. Give that back, please. Let me scan you. Okay, avoid them forever. Right. <laughs> Watch out, he steals your stuff. He's very cute. And they look very much like the, uh... They remind me of otters, very cute. They do remind me of otters. Although I don't... This is gonna make me enemies. I don't think otters are that cute. <laughs> this is something that gets me in trouble with, um... With my girlfriend, for instance. She thinks otters are maybe the cutest thing in the world. I think otters... They're fine. I don't find them uncute. And I like, you know, their little squeaks and stuff like that. But I don't know if I actually find them that cute. Okay, take like a few of these. We'll, we'll need them. Blueprint synthesized. There we go. Awesome. Now we can actually make something. Where's our base? Over this way. Oh, we've actually gone quite a far away away. You hate pandas, babies, and now otters. I don't hate any of those. No, that's not true. I do hate babies. I don't like... I don't love pandas, and I don't love otters. I don't, I don't feel anything really towards them. When they try to mug you, just shoot. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Also, otters are really violent. <laughs> like, what, you know, when you read up about otters, it kind of wears away some of the cuteness. Because it's like, they're very rapey, and they're very murdery. 
archers. It's a bit like dolphins. Dolphins always have that, like, smug thing going on. This man is a menace and needs to be stopped. Yeah, that's it. I think otters look smug. Which is completely nonsense, obviously. But I do think they look smug. Okay, build me some silicon rubber. A couple of them. We'll probably need a couple. And then we can make something, I think. We can make fins. Eh. <laughs> well, we should probably make fins so we can actually, you know, walk around or swim around faster. And then a knife. Okay, we're, we're getting there. Dolphins do look smug, finding my thoughts have been put into words. I yeah, I mean they're they're very smug, honestly. I've never really liked dolphins too much. And you know, you see them around. They're they're relatively common here. Not well, not so much anymore. They've been kinda slightly wiped out. Sea monkeys have underground nests and a high chance of fragments in them. Make some lubricant? I will. I can't remember if I just did or not, but I will make lubricant. We're going to need a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's a good idea to just make as much as possible right now, right? And then just store it. How much creep vine did we pick up? Oh, well, apparently that much. And I'll make some glass as well, just because why not? Uh, I can store the rest of this. Can I make anything else? I need fiber mesh, which is what? Creep vine? Yes. Soon we will be fine. We will be good again. And a single battery for a flashlight. Eh. I don't think the flashlight is actually very good. I, or at least, I can't really remember using it much in the original one. Okay, let's put away this quartz. And this lead. This lube. Uh, take back the knife, please, for the love of God. Yeah, put away the lube and the silicon rubber. And the glass. We can keep this stuff on me. That's all fine. Gotta love lube. Uh, right, so. Knife. We have a knife. I'm admiring it. It does look like kind of a nice knife. I, I think it's quite cool looking. And it was over this way for the kelp forest, I think? Maybe? I don't know, I might be going in literally the opposite direction. Oh, I heard something roar. When you hear something roar in Subnautica, that's... You know. What are you gonna name your pod? I don't know, maybe I'll let chat name my pod. I've never really been imaginative with names. Something, again, my girlfriend doesn't like about me is that... When, um, I, re I basically refuse to use the names Oxygen. of the guinea pigs. Oh god, that's gonna get annoying. I basically refuse to use the names of any pets or children or guinea pigs. <laughs> like, I call the guinea pigs both pig, exclusively, to the point where they just refer- they respond to the name pig now, each of them. They both have the same name, basically. Uh, I call all babies either baby or it, and... <laughs> Uh, I can never, like, come up with creative names for anything. It's a flaw, I admit. Okay, creep vine. New blueprints Take a couple. Take a few, at least. Okay, and now we get a thing. <laughs> we get an actual, you know, oxygen pod. We're starting oxygen. to come out of the opening, right? Because this is kind of the tutorial. You know, it's not really a tutorial, because it doesn't really tell you what to do, but... Yeah. You better start catching fish soon. Well, I have enough water for now, and my food isn't going down too badly. And I can eat creep vine samples. <laughs> right? I will, yeah, I will actually take some water, actually, See now that that's reminded me. There we go. Use fabricator. Personal. Equipment. Well, no, I need to make fiber mesh. There we go. I'll make a lot of it. Don't cook bladder fish. It's a horrible idea. I vaguely remember that, that, you know, the different fish do different things. Bladderfish are for water, right? Creep vine is important, don't eat it. I mean, in an emergency, I could eat it. There we go, standard OT, O2 town. I forgot how to speak for a couple of seconds there. To your data bank. A first aid kit? That could be useful. A the pipe? Standard oxygen also could be useful. Be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Can I upgrade it now, maybe? <laughs> How do I upgrade it? I can't remember. I probably have to find blueprints, don't I? Well, whatever. We can store these things. I don't need all of this stuff on my person, basically. Because, you know, I want a, a nice, clean inventory. Okay, well, now we have... How much oxygen? A, a hundred. Is it? Sixty-nine. Seventy. Oh, <laughs> That's not as big as I wanted it to be, to be honest. 
He needs the blueprint for the planting bed. The planting bed is is always amazing. Okay, now it's just a case of finding blueprints and materials. So, you know, we'll do that. Scanning stuff. Just picking up random things that are around. All that kind of thing. I probably should scan that. Oh, I could just do it here. Stock up on creep vines. I will, on the way back. They're they're quite close by, which is convenient. Anything around here? No. The roaring is making me very upset. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I like that there's at least a marker. So I'm not going to get too lost here, no matter how far I go out. I'm not going to go too far out, by the way. As soon as it gets deep, I'm like, nah, maybe not. Because that's when the predators will start coming, right? This is the equivalent of the save shadows. We'll just gather as many materials as we can. Copper and titanium and stuff like that. And then run back like a little coward. <laughs> Find some things to scan. Hello? I haven't seen any big menacing fish yet. Which I'm pleased at, but it, it has only been 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes? <laughs> I think I saw a sea monkey get your knife out just in case. I will, because that seems very annoying. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I've been playing Loop Hero recently, just uh, very occasionally in my spare time, right? I've been playing Loop Hero. And I've realized that I one of my least liked mechanics in games might be when random enemies steal your stuff. Because that's a big thing in Loop Hero. There's bandits that can spawn on the road sometimes, depending on what tiles you put down, that can just randomly when they attack they'll just steal your items it's very annoying okay the sea glide is probably the most useful thing in the game right like probably i think i remember that being the case like i remember using the sea glide right up until the end of the game so we will probably need that as soon as possible get food my guy i will i mean it's not necessary right now we're actually doing all right in terms of food and water we have plenty of water we're not low on food yet and, you know, if worse comes to worst, we can just either eat kelp or, you know, have Warning. fish everywhere. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm waiting to see, like, giant angry whales around. I know, actually, this is very appropriate, because last night I watched a, a movie about, you know, undersea nonsense. I watched a movie called The Song of the Sea, which is, um, I don't know, how would I describe it? A little bit like a bad Irish Ponyo. You know, the, um, the the Studio Ghibli movie. Which is a great movie. I love that movie. But just sort of boring Irish version of that. It wasn't great. It was fine. But um, the, um, the, the animation was amazing. It's by this guy called Tom Dunn. Who is an Irish... An Irish um, filmmaker. Who does a lot of, uh, you know, Oscar nominated movies. But, um, none of them are that good, I think. I've watched two out of the three he's made now, and both of them have been very disappointing. Both of them have constantly been compared to me to be, like, oh, it's like Irish Ghibli. It's like, you know, indie Irish Ghibli. And I've, I've watched it and gone, nah, like, I, I get what they mean, but, you know, it's kind of just low effort, low, low quality Ghibli, to be honest. Like, I watched... His, his most famous one is the one that just came out recently called Wolfwalkers, I think it's called. Uh, get these out for a second. Let's make another battery if we can. Because why not? You know, we'll just... We'll turn anything perishable into these things. But yeah, Wolfwalkers is the first one I watched. And it, it got nominated for an Oscar. It was uh, nominated for Best Animated Feature. And I watched it with my girlfriend a couple of days ago and just went... I mean, this didn't even deserve to be nominated. <laughs> like... I don't understand why. I think it was because it, it was the Irish thing. It's the reason I have uh, some of the viewers I do. is because the accents and because the art style. Right? Um, and because it's all drawn in a very Celtic woodblocky art style with like spirals and line art and stuff like that. And it looks very, very beautiful. But it's... Uh, oh, I thought these water... This water did more, by the way. I may actually have to use the bladder fish. But I think it's just Americans at the Oscar committee going like... I like the accents and the style is cute. And then the story is the most generic thing I've ever seen. With both of them, really. Oh, hydrate. I, I do have some sparkling water in front of me. 
Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was. I, I'm just looking around for more sea glide fragments, right? Sea glide is going to be really important. Although everything, I think, the, I think this is glitched slightly because I think these are all meant to be plants right here, and nothing has really spawned in. Um, hmm. Well then. Oh yes, I should drink when I drink in game. That would help me keep hydrated, probably. Hmm. It is also a high I have money here, I have a donation, don't let that influence your vote. I imagine so. Although it's a, it is an indie movie, I don't know how much money they'd be able to have. Do I swim faster with nothing in my hands? Maybe. I think I might need to re-log, by the way, because nothing has spawned. Like, all of the plants are gone. I think this is a glitch. <laughs> let me get in the pod, save, exit, and re-log back in, okay? <laughs> that might fix things. Unless that's just a dead patch of water. This stuff is kind of spawning out here. Let me just quickly do that. Let me save. Full release. Well, if you played Subnautica at all, there was many times in that game where you're kind of encouraged, even the loading screen, to save every five minutes or so, so you don't lose anything, because there were many times where I just fell, th fell through the floor into the void and was not able to play again. It's pretty bad. Also, it seems to be struggling with the saving. Hmm. Uh, you can see that little happy penguin bouncing up at the top of the screen. I'm hoping it doesn't crash here. I can't save. Time since last save, 30 minutes. Uh, let's maybe not do that then. Let's just swim around until it fixes itself, maybe. Because I'm not playing the last 30 minutes again. At least not today. No, I'm not. Okay, something has gone very badly wrong. And there's a little monster over there. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from these outcroppings. Replenish oxygen? Ooh. Nobody seems to have seen these movies outside of Ireland and the Oscar committee. They're not, I don't know, they're just not very good. Again, it's, it's bad Irish Ghibli. He's trying so desperately to be Studio Ghibli with, you know, the heartfelt endings and the, the like emotional music over beautiful animation, but there's just nothing there at the heart of it. Okay, I may actually have to, I can't save. And I don't know if I can actually play this game anymore. And if I quit, it says last save 32 minutes ago. Um, hmm. Okay then. <laughs> right. I'm going to make an executive decision here. I'm going to quit. Right? We will be back in a second. Take this time to explore. But I can't get anything from it, is the thing. Like, I can't seem to scan anything. I can't seem to break any minerals. I think we're just going to have to quit out. And just do the last half an hour over again. It is crushing that I have to do this. Okay, now it's just mocking me. It's actually mocking me. <laughs> it, it won't quit now. Am I going to have to alt F4 this game? Hang on. Let me just bring up task manager. Uh, not responding. Shocking. And then end task. And it's done. It is out. We are out of the game. Let's restart.